Hi everyone, here we are in beautiful Italy, in Venice, sitting at this amazing little restaurant. Look at our food coming. Ooh, ooh. Got mussels, having rosé. Beautiful. I'm going to show you a little bit of um, what yesterday was about. Try and help you out to understand. Have a look. Mm, mangiare, mangiare. Look over here is the Rialto Bridge, so we're right here having lunch next to that. Now that's a um, bridge, I'll show you in just a second um, what all that's about. But first I just want to show you here. Yesterday, if people here were here in Venice, the water came up to Hello. around all up to these chairs. So it was all up around here. So apparently it was a Ciao Antonio. So you can see we would not have been able to sit there yesterday because it came up to about 170 centimetres of water whereas usually a high tide is only about 20 centimetres probably coming up to about here so that's where it usually happens no, in high no, tides a little bit more a little bit more okay, no, so. yes. oh mamma mia Francesco so basically the good news about this is that these high tides that happen only in winter time only in winter um, usually come up and it's still workable and it's still okay. I mean, it's not good with the global warming. Warming, obviously, some you know things are going to change in the future with Venice, and we're going to lose Venice. However, yesterday was different. Yesterday was to do with the south winds pushing in the seawater into Venice, which made it excruciatingly, incredibly difficult for people to get around and walk. And it was a very, very sad event for everybody. So, although we're all a bit worried and going, "Oh my God, Venice is sinking," that doesn't happen often. About 10 years ago, 2008 December was the last time it happened, and it was in incredible where nobody could walk around the waters were terrible as you saw some posts that I posted up yesterday um, so today it's a lot better in St Mark's Square I'll post some photos later there's still some um, very much a lot of water around but not anywhere near as much look Rialto Bridge isn't that beautiful so yes yeah, so good news is that Venice is a lot better today everything's looking good as you see the streets everyone can walk in there but yesterday no yesterday it came up to everybody's hips so they just couldn't get around so 170 centimeters really odd not just to do with the tide it was to do with the tide and to do with the bad southwesterly winds that we had that pushed the water up so basically hasn't happened for 10 years it's very very odd for that to have happened okay but everybody obviously enjoyed swimming in it bathing in it and hopefully now they won't be sick from bathing in it hi Neil how are you going oh, this is where you'll be staying Oh yeah, pack your wellies, love, because you could have the high tide, but you've only got about 20 centimetres worth of um, high tide water to walk around in, but not the 170 that we had yesterday. Can't wait to see you soon, honey. So there's the Rialto Bridge that was built in the 12th century and is the oldest bridge here in Venice. It's still being used by the tourists. Obviously, that's where you do all the little kissing on the Rialto Bridge. Um, and obviously, it's been um, reconstructed quite a few times, that poor bridge. Oh my God, it is so busy and so crazy here in Venice today and trying to dodge the people and nobody, nobody has any, nothing about the word polite comes in anyone's heads in these places. They just bang into you and push into you and they don't look and they don't walk and probably doing what I'm doing. So as you can see, here we are. So I'm gonna show you St. Mark's Square later because they do say the tide will come up again in a couple of hours and let's see what what happens to it and I can show you how it all works now I'm going in here to meet my beautiful husband for our lunch near the Rialto bridge and enjoy this moment with our rosé our aperitivo all of our beautiful little bits and pieces of food he Ciao said Francesco. the water he said the water reach here yes. really oh my God, so the water was up to here yesterday so as you see Francesco and I would not would be sitting in a pool of water Hi everyone, have a great day everyone. So look, oh look, Francesco's, <laughs> he's lost all his food on his lap. Have a darling. Ciao.